Hi, we're just here to honor the Phillies and all the great history that they brought. My favorite memory is the most obvious, obviously, and that, of course, would be the parade itself. We waited so long to see the overjoyed fans in this town along Broad Street. And I'll, I'll remember it forever. I remember Elvis the dog and the lead float and um, Pat Burrow with him and all the people behind him. And you know what? When you leave that kind of a memory to the city, you give us something that's it has no value. You can't put a, a price on it. It means something to everybody. My favorite memory is bringing is this year, bringing my son to a Bryce Harper games this first Saturday afternoon game he was here, and Clark couldn't decide which jersey he wanted, and then Bryce Harper, you know, obliged and him at a mammoth home run, and Clark goes, yeah, pretty sure who, I know which jersey I'm going to get, and I'd like to thank you since he'll be here for 13 years. He'll grow with that jersey and wear it for a long time. So thanks. Mine's really simple. Every time Chase Utley came back, Kazmir comes on and world champions. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Jenna Cameron, John Ritchie from WIP here. Favorite Phillies moments. There's a lot, John, what do you got? We were at a game last August 2nd. We're down to the Marlins, the bottom of the ninth inning. We're there with, with our show. Yes. Watching the game. I've never seen a walk-off home run before and Mikel Franco. Boom! We had four runs in the bottom of the ninth. That's pretty to cool. To win it five to two, it was the greatest thing I'd ever seen in my life. All right, so an easy one for my end, obviously, is the World Series winning and clinching moment. We all know that, but I'm going to go to another moment just because it's from my childhood. The part of being a Phillies fan is how you feel as a kid, and you still feel it as an adult. And when I think back to 1993 and Mitch striking out Bill Pakoda and the whole wild run for seven months, it was amazing. It was incredible. Where's the first? That was the happiest moment of my life for so many years when Dutch caught that ball and Dutch and Mitch hogged and the whole team came out striking out Bill Bacota in 1993. Love them always well. Great moments. What's up, everybody? Uh, Phillies, hey, listen, we were asked to give our favorite Phillies moment. And for me, that's difficult to do, but I'll give you my most lasting one. And that was 1993, game six. Baseball and Veterans Stadium is a lot different than baseball in Citizens Bank Park, but that place was shaking. When the Phillies, I remember Mickey Morghini hit a triple and it went right past first base and that stadium was rocking. So that's the memory I think of most when I think of the Phillies. And for me, it's easy. It's winning the World Series in 2008. I was young in this business. I was on the air uh, doing the show and, and the Phillies were playing. So I had to basically do a show uh, going up against the Phillies. And what I did was basically do my own Harry Callis impersonation and gave a play-by-play -play of the uh, second half of game five that Thursday night when it was raining. And uh, I can remember going through my own uh, Phillies World Series champions call on the air on 610 uh, WIP back in 2008. I'll never forget it. It's a night. My favorite Phillies memory ever, 2008 NLCS. Matt Stairs off of Jonathan Brox in the home run in Los Angeles changed the series, helped the Phillies propel them to a World Series. And not only was it a big moment, but it was one I, I saw coming. When they traded from that summer, I said, Matt Stairs is going to make a big contribution in whatever the Phillies do when they get to October. He did that. The call by Joe Buck, the next day the Daily News, everything about it so memorable. Matt Stairs off of Broxton, my favorite Phillies moment ever.